السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته dear colleague, friends, brothers, sisters, wherever you are, whenever you are, I greet you with the greeting of peace, Islam, humanity, peace be upon you, and I hope that each and every one of you enjoying a good health, good life, and living in a safer society, and managing through the pandemic of COVID. I will call COVID-20, not COVID-19, since COVID-20 is having a new strain coming to affect us and looking us down in our dwelling for the last few weeks. So COVID-19 was last year, and this is COVID-20. We don't know if we're going to have another COVID-21 or not. But anyway, my greeting to all of you. And this is the second part of my talk, which I delivered last week. The first part was last week about geometric lines in building our civil societies. And uh, today we'll be talking about the second part. Second part, if we can change the slides, uh, which in the second part we'll uh, be talking about, please, for each and every one of you, use the Zoom link because there's a lot of slides and a lot of a drawing. Please, please, please. Uh, as introduction, geometric lines, building civil societies. What are these new terminologies? Why are we using these new terminologies? Immigration and conclusion. This is the index of our second part to complete the talk of last week, inshallah. And if we are going to redress what we have been discussing last week, let me re re readdress them again with you. What we have been presented to you in part one last week was reflecting how should we see our society? How should we see our society? For me, our society is like a house, a house that we build together. And you can see in these two images, the one on the left hand side is a complete house with shops at the bottom. The one on the right hand side is a house under construction with the walls, the ceiling, the pillars, and still under, under construction. Please go to the Zoom to follow up what I am talking about. In this house, there are three major structural elements the parallels which create the history of the society as you can see the history of the society on the face of the house outside and the path and the uh, compounds or composites would they make the pillars the structure the foundation the ceiling and the wall of the society or the house itself okay the history which is are the parallels will define the characteristics of its character, the character of the society or the house that everyone is viewing or observing from outside. And at the same time, people will be dealing with it accordingly. But the path, the compounds, and the composites will be building its pillar, which is wall, pillar, ceiling, foundation, and others. So in the house, the major structure elements are the three that we're talking about, which are the pillars, I mean, the, the path, the composite, and the uh, parallels. Today, today, if you bear with me, because it's a little bit difficult one, in part two, we will be discussing the hidden, deeply unseen structure in our society, which inside the house, as I said, our society is like a house that we build together. And this hidden and unseen deep structure will provide us with different services inside the house, such as water, electricity, plumbing, sanitation, gas, heating, telephone lines, internet connection, television area, and other, 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 which people outside do not see it, but to have to create this structure element inside the house to provide service to every citizen in the society or to every resident in the house. And this will be needed by every citizen and every resident inside the house. The more citizens 
or resident live in the society or the house, the more services they will need. And you can see in the drawing, the woman uh, uh, making the, carp the, the carpet or the rug, and on the left-hand side, this kind of uh, uh, knitting of, of the uh, uh, thing there. Slides, please. Uh, as I mentioned earlier on, in, in part one, we, we, we talked about the major structure lines, which are the parallels, the path, and the uh, compounds. In part two, we talk about the, interne the internal crossing lines, inshallah. The parallel, the path, and the structured composites or compounds, as I, I showed them in the, in, in the house, uh, which you have seen it before. And today, no, no, today will be, today we'll be talking about the uh, internal crossing lines, which is crossing, entangling, symmetrical, synonymous, and sequential. These are inside the house, which provide the service to every individual in the, uh, in the house, every resident, or inside the society, providing services to every citizen in the society. Let me take you in a very simple definition of each one of these uh, deeply uh, uh, structured lines inside the house. Uh, the definition crossing or inter, uh, intersecting lines, it reflects crisscrossing, intersecting, crossing lines in geometrical fields. This is actually, nobody can see it. We only can see the house from inside. Entangling lines, it means overlapping, mixing, complexity, jamming, ambigu ambiguity, and confusion. Symmetrical lines means matching, identical, compatible, and similar. Synonymous lines, it means having the same meaning as another word or phrase in the same language, same meaning. And last but not least, sequential lines, it gives the same meaning, talks about the same subject, but in cascading, subsequent, successive, relaying manner. And these five lines will be embedded deeply inside the house to provide the service to every citizen in the society or to every resident inside the house. Slide. These are the shapes of each one of them. You can find the one at the right, uh, top right hand corner, talking about symmetrical, which you mentioned before, and the bottom right hand side, the crossing lines, and the central images at the top, which talk about sequential, all of them look the same, but they are actually in, cast in cascading manner, and the entangling, which is like knitting or making networking, and the last but not least, the synonymous, which of the ones is like the, we, we studied it in biology when we were in the second school, on the medical school, on the school of science and, techno, and science. And it is actually the binary fission of the cell from one to two, two to four, four to eight, and so on, so on, so on. These are the fine lines inside every society, inside every house to provide services to every citizen or every resident of the society and the house. You might ask this question, very simple question. Why are you using all this terminology? Let me take you to a, a, a journey about what do we mean by sequences? Sequences, sequences, linguistically. Sequences are groups of circumstances requiring some course of action, things and processions, where we find the classification of the members of these sequences are entirely distinctively classified and the growing individual, individual partitioning, partitioning manner. We should call it in, 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 uh, in biology, binary fission, binary fission, B-I-N-A-R-Y, fission, where the one cell becomes two, the two cells becomes four, the four becomes eight, and so on, so on, so on, so on. This is the sequences. And this five fine new terminology represent 
the fine lines inside the structure of the house or the site which provided actually services to every individual. I'm going to, the writing in red is very important because I'm going to repeat it again later on in the slide. The philosophy of these cultures will be leading, will be leading, and leading what? Inside the processing processes of social media development will be leading inside the processing processes of social media development new growing growth which might be leading to the destruction and elimination of civilization cultures and different lives existing inside our societies can i say it again can i say it again talking about just preparing to about the danger of social media the philosophy of this culture will be leading inside the processing processes of social media development, new, new, growing growth, which might be leading to the destruction and the elimination of civilization, cultures, and different lives existing inside our society. This eventually could be leading to the destruction of the universe. This is my own belief. It could happen, it might not happen. I'm talking about social media, but we'll talk about later on again. Why you are introducing this new terminology again and again and again? This will be noticed, okay? In positive or, or, or different way. Can we go back? Yes. Why we are introducing it? Because, because when we look at our bodies, at ourselves and the structure of our body and the composition of our body and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created our body, we will find that all these terms which I mentioned, whether actually the main structures or the fine ones, are important elements of the organic composition of the human bodies. This is what I mentioned. The geometrical lines, whether they are the main structured one or the other ones, are actually organic, important elements of the organic composition of the human body and are impacted by what is going on in our social life. I say it again, I'm using this terminologies for this, for this week or for the last week because, because they are important elements of the organic composition of the human body and are impacted by what is going around us in our social life. Okay? This will later on, this will later on design the different patterns of the philosophical, cultural behavior of different societies, different nations, and will be encompassing and drawing the lifestyle of every citizen in the society. I'll say it again because I'm talking about sociology now. I'm not talking about something magic. This will later on design the different patterns of our philosophy, of the philosophical, cultural behavior of different societies and nations and will be encompassing and drawing the lifestyle of every citizen in the society. If we study the issues of immigration, whether it is voluntary or uh, forced, okay, displacement, seeking refuge or asylum seeker, we will find, we will find, and in many cases that these issues will definitely be changing the philosophical thinking of the immigrant, refugees, and displaced people on one side, but on the other side, it will affect also the philosophical principles, values, and the culture of those communities. And all this will impact both sides, whether we are displaced, refugees, or immigrants on one side, 
or who are the host community. The impact will happen on both society. Okay. Next, please. How can we observe this, both positively or negative? We will see it in the different food dishes that we have, in the music played by the refugees or the displaced people or the immigrants, by the poetry, by the singing, dancing, arts, drama, dress, fashion, values, manners, behavior, religious and social cultural festivities and others. This will be noticed because this reflects the moving of, of societies from A to B to C, the movement of clusters of people going from this direction to this direction, from this place to this place, from this geographical zone to this geographical, to, to this geographical zone, and each group of people or cluster of people will bring, will bring the value of the values that they have, the, the culture, the philosophy of thinking, and will impact negatively or positively the host community. Let me give you some examples. Internal displacement, as you can see it, this is the map of Syria, and you can see Iraq on the uh, right-hand side with the, to the east, and Cyprus and uh, Tur Turkey to the north, Cyprus to the east, and, uh, and others, okay? Syrian case study. In this case study, many Syrian groups, I'm talking about internal displacement. Please look at the slides through the Zoom link. Please look at the slide through the Zoom link. Syrian case study. In this case study, Syrian groups will join together in new places. In case of Syria, they come to Idlib. They come, can be from Aleppo, from Hama, from Hems, from Dirizur, from other places. Move as clusters of people to Idlib, okay? Inside the same country. Each group is coming from different geographical areas of the same country, which is Syria, but, but, but having slightly different societal cultures and values to the others. I don't think that the people come from Hems have the same cultural, uh, culture of that uh, identical to the people from Aleppo or to the people from Hasaka or to the people from Dirzur or to the people from Damascus, have different cultures, but they're all Syrian. They, when they come to this new place, all together will face a new upheaval, a new upheaval challenges, such as living in a new zone. Okay, living in a new zone. Uh, have different climate, weather and others. Okay. Uh, have different strange neighbors. They have not used to mix with them before. Okay. Have different and new dwellings. Dwellings such as communities. They will be living in community centers, tents, porta cabins, huts, or even caves, as we have seen it. They will have, they will, they will not have the proper services, lack of services, lack of financial resources, uh, a lack of safety, and privacy and loss of their beloved ones as well. Okay. So when they move, they have all these upheaval, upheaval challenges with them. Okay. It becomes on them, on them, and even on the host community as in Idlib, a compelling necessity on all of them to do what? To build a new Syrian society having a new growing culture was not found in Aleppo before, or in Hems before, or in Damascus before, or in Hasaka before, or in Dirzul before, but they are going to produce a new culture. Uh, not found before, this culture will be blossoming inside the philosophical climate, this climate of displacement, deprivation, inner alienation, and fear from the unexpected. When these clusters of people sit down together and live together in a new area, 
they will be compelling to create a new culture. A new culture growing, growing and blossoming inside the philosophical climate of displacement, deprivation, and inner alienation and fear from the unexpected. These new societies happening inside Syria, okay, or these new groups of people sitting together in a new place will produce new and strange culture to their previous ones. It will never be the same like the one was in Hems or in Aleppo or in Hama or in other places in Syria. Clear, this is the internal displacement. Second example, when people seek refuge, refuge in the neighboring countries, it happened because of two things, either armed conflicts, people run and rush outside their own country. This is what exactly happened in the case of Syria. Okay, and you can see uh, people from Syria went to Turkey, went to Jordan, went to Lebanon. Okay, or it happened after natural disasters. These natural disasters, devastating natural disasters, could be on a long term basis or on a short term basis. A long term, a term basis is because of long term, such as droughts, desertification, famine. Okay, the people be on the move to move from their own country, that's happening in Africa most of the time, moving from their own country to another country. Okay. Or short term basis, such as the earthquake, the flooding, the tornado, the hurricane, and others, which is move them to the neighboring countries. Okay. And this will force people, the citizens, to live in a different country because either of the armed conflicts, even recently, we have seen it in Ethiopia, the fight in uh, different parts of Ethiopia and the people coming to Sudan. Sudan is already hosting uh, nearly 400,000 uh, Eritrean refugees since the 70s. And now more refugees are coming to Sudan because of the fear of the fight inside Ethiopia. This will be forcing the citizen to seeking refuge status in the neighboring countries and live in what we call human cantons inside the host countries. This is the first case study. The philosophy of thinking of those people, the philosophy of the intellectual culture of the refugees community will be definitely different to that one of the host communities. Definitely will be different. And will be different to their own country. So they came out from Eritrea or from Syria to Turkey or to Jordan. The same group will create a new culture inside Jordan, same different culture inside Turkey, different culture inside Lebanon. And the people come from Ethiopia will create a different culture inside Sudan as well. And this culture or intellectual capability will be different to the culture of the local community. And you call it refugees culture which was mentioned before in the case study of Syria before. We're still carrying on, if you're on the slide, talking about the seeking refugee in neighboring countries. Not only that culture, but another culture called inferiority superiority complex culture. Yani we might think that the refugee community will have their own culture. Fine, there's no problem. But between them and the host community will be another culture developed or is, uh, will be developing called inferiority superiority or superiority inferiority. Inferiority to the refugees so will be feeling inferior to the host community and superiority to the host community. You look down at them, you look down at them. So those refugees will become, to the host communities, become what? Become the source of individual and organized crimes, corruption, and other social ills. So the 
So the host community will look at them. They will never look at them as they have calibers of people who have good human resources. No, doctors, no, teachers, no, engineers, no, uh, professional workers, no. They will look at them as people coming from the slum who don't want to touch them because they'll be the source of all these social illnesses, corruption, and organized or individual crimes. Unfortunately, this is what's happening at the moment uh, to some of the Syrian refugees in the neighboring countries, happening to the Somali refugees as well, and to a certain extent to the Afghani refugees and the Palestinian refugees and others in Africa. The host community will look down at them in more superior to inferior, to inferior to complex. Okay. This is the second case, the second example of seeking refugees or asylum, becoming asylum seeker in, uh, I mean, seeking refugees, refugee status in the neighboring countries. The third example we'll give would be the immigration. Immigration means in a very simple way, very simple way, is you move from your own country to another country, either through a legal way or illegally. Because either economic immigration or soft immigration. Soft immigration is my terminology. The economic immigration, this kind of immigration moves the people from poor countries to the more affluent countries, mostly following illegal methods, such as the boat, truck, and the fridge truck people. Most of the people are considered to be forced immigrants. It's the economic migrant. You have seen them crossing the Mediterranean, want to go to the Europe, they're coming from uh, North Africa, they're coming from Central Africa, they're coming from Afghanistan, they're coming from Asia, they come from different countries. They're coming from Syria, from Iraq and others. These are the economic immigration, which is like the forced immigration of the armed conflict. The second kind of immigration, which I call it soft immigration, what does it mean? Where the host countries, which is the rich ones, like in Europe and America or Canada, uh, will welcome the highly skilled, professional, and the experienced immigrant as new member of the society in different fields of work to benefit from them. So these are the two kinds. This also will need to the creation of new cultures as well, two new cultures. You can see the image of the people of the boat in the Mediterranean and the people in the truck here. The philosophy of this culture will be like that of the asylum seeking philosophy. Such a philosophy of culture would be driven by what? By suspicion, fear, and panic of the host communities from those immigrants. They are coming as soft immigrant, as highly professional. Okay. This will lead to the creation of asylum seeking culture in the very stable and affluent uh, communities. Sorry, I'm, I, I mix with this. The new culture of the boat, truck, and the fridge truck immigrant will be, I'll, I'll say it again. The new culture of the boat, truck, and fridge truck immigrants will create a new asylum seeker culture. The philosophy of this culture will be like that of asylum seeking philosophy. And this philosophy of culture will be driven by suspicion, fear, and the panic of the host community from those immigrants, okay? This will lead to the creation of asylum seeker culture in a very stable country, actually. And instead of going to the neighborhood, to a poor country, they go across the Mediterranean, they go to the rich countries like Italy, uh, like uh, Spain, like uh, England, like uh, uh, crossing to uh, Germany and other places. There's been this regarding the, the, the boat people or the truck and the French truck people, truck immigrants. 
How about the second group of people which are going to immigrate into the rich countries? Uh, which I call them a soft, the soft one, which is the highly professional, the highly skilled uh, people. This is the warm welcome of the host governments to these groups of people. Okay. But some of the community members of those countries will still, will still be uncomfortable with them. So the government is welcoming them because they need their skills, they need their knowledge. But some of the community members of the host country will not welcome them. And on the other side, some of those highly professional, skilled members of the immigrant community will also be uncomfortable to travel to this area. Why is this? After settling down, why? Because while the host government will put no ceilings, no ceilings for the innovative pioneering productivity of the skilled immigrant, the same government, the same government, okay, will put rigid ceilings for their vertical recognition in the social life and of the, of, of the host society and will not allow them to play senior executive leading role in the society. That's why the new welcome immigrants are welcome to be pioneering in their subject, but cannot lead the society of the host community. That's why they become very frustrated. This will take us back to the inferiority superiority complex which you mentioned it before. And will not let them feel that they are first class citizens. Even those people who travel to certain rich countries, they will not be considered first class citizens. And despite the fact of their professional career, their experience, their knowledge, and their commitment to develop the host country. This behavioral complexity will lead to the emergence of what? Of new cultural philosophy of thinking, which eventually will become a part of the host community culture. This will, you see, whenever we move group of people voluntarily or by force, the movement of any cluster of people or group of people will create new culture impacting their own life and impacting the lives and the culture of the host community. In our case, as I mentioned, there are five new terminology which I mentioned, crossing, entangling, symmetrical, synonymous, and sequential. Okay. The fi these five new societal technologies, okay, which in front of you, you can see them, will establish what? Will establish, will establish, will build, and blossom, okay, what? New cultures and new philosophy of thinking that we did not use to deal with before and will become a major societal component in communities that we are serving or who are living within it is different society. I'll say this again, because it's difficult. This new five terminology, which is crossing, entangling the internal structure inside the internal structure of the site, they are crossing, they're entangling, the symmetrical, the symmetry, the synonymous and sequential, will establish, build and blossom new cultures and the philosophy of thinking that we did not use to deal with it before. And this would become a part become a major societal component in communities that we are serving. So if we look about the Syrian refugees going to Turkey or going to Jordan or going to Lebanon or to the Ethiopian refugees coming to uh, Sudan or to East Sudan, these clusters of people coming from different parts in Ethiopia, 
these clusters of people coming from different parts in Syria. Okay? In Syria. And they will keep producing and blossoming new cultures or new philosophy of thinking on them themselves, which will impact negatively or positively the host community. So we should not deal with them as they having the same culture of the Syrian who came from Syria or who were living in Syria before. No, the movement started to impact the process of change of the culture and the settlement with other people from different parts of Syria and different zone would impact them to bring to them to create another uh, culture and the values and uh, morality and different things will be different. We cannot treat them as just the Syrian who lived in Syria in the 50s or 70s and 2000 or before the uh, conflict happened in 2011. No, uh, different, 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 different. So don't treat them like actually uh, from, from a textbook. De uh, deal with them from the reality uh, of their uh, existence in a new place. This is a difficult one for you and for myself. You can see it in the slide. How about the information technology revolution? The impact of media and social media means of communication. You remember I mentioned to you maybe earlier on about a statement about the social media and this revolution and this impact, whether actually it's destructive impact on society or on humanity. The most important part of our discussion today here is the effective, negative or positive impact of the social media on, on this side, on what? Or our intellectual, cultural philosophy of thinking. This is number one, number one. Number two, on our community values. Number three, on our habits and customs. Number four, on our faith and religious beliefs. Number five, in our policies and politics, as well as other social building principles. Shall I say it again? The most important part of our discussion here is the effective negative or positive impact of the social media on, our, on the intellectual, cultural philosophy of thinking, community values, habits, customs, faith, religious belief, policies and politics, as well as other social building principles. This on one side, okay? Be focused with me. These new social media platforms will be creating what? Will be creating social revolutions, continuously social revolution, continually making and creating social revolutions. Inside what? Inside what? Inside me as a user. Inside the inner philosophy of consciousness, the mind, the insight, the spirit, the soul, the heart of every citizen using them. So internally, the social media will make revolution inside myself and externally, they will have the impact on the search around me. The new social media platforms will be creating social revolutions inside the inner philosophy of, of the consciousness, the mind, the insight, the spirit, the soul, and the heart of every citizen using them. The more we use social media, the more social media developers will develop and produce new social media platforms, and the more such a platform will incite new multidimensional social intellectual revolutions. Shall I say it again? The more we use social media, the more social media developers will develop and produce new social media platforms. And the more, the more such platform will incite new 
multidimensional social intellectual revolution at the back of the mind of every user. And you can imagine how many billions of people are using social media nowadays. We still on the technology, on the social media, information technology. The negative or positive impacts of such social revolutions will lead to the creation of new philosophical, intellectual, cultural partitions inside more and newer partitioning numerical sequences. The negative or positive impacts of such social revolutions will lead to the creation of new philosophical, intellectual, cultural partition inside more and the newer partitioning numerical sequences. As you can see it in the drawing, the one challenge will become two, will become four, will become eight. The one initiative will become two, will become four, will become eight, and so on. Come back to the statement which I mentioned half an hour ago. The philosophy of these cultures will be, will be leading. I'm repeating it again about the social media. The philosophy of these cultures will be leading inside the processing processes of social media development, new growing growth, which might be leading to the destruction and the elimination of civilization, cultures, and different lives existing inside our sites. This eventually could be leading to the destruction of the universe. I mentioned this earlier on, and I'm mentioning it again to confirm my belief. I could be wrong, but it would be this kind of, uh, of, of actually impact mostly negative impact because we cannot control we cannot control the development of social media platform and the people who are using social media as individuals the philosophy of this culture will be leading inside processing inside the processing processes of social media development new growing growth which might be leading to the destruction and the elimination of civilization cultures and different lives existing inside our side. This eventually could be leading to the destruction of the universe. Wallahu alam. In conclusion, in conclusion, in my previous talk, I'm talking now to the young people. We discussed how to start our movement inside the creation of the social infrastructure, inside the parallels to respect and write the history. Then path creation through the needs for more social services for citizens. Then in parallel building the composites or compounds to manage the flow of societies inside the path and the coordinating and the connecting path as well as creating coordination between different composites inside the different path. This was actually mentioned in the first talk last year. Today, Young people, I request you to dive deep with me inside the human soul. And the required social services, the required social services, as I mentioned before, I urge you after building the structure of the house, and I mentioned it last week, to go deeply inside the human soul. And the challenge will come here. Are you ready to listen to the challenge? Yes, of course. If we decided to dive deeply inside the human souls and the required social services, we should answer these questions. Are you ready, young people who are sitting at home trying to do something with patience and perseverance to meet what? The challenges of researching, prospecting, analyzing, organizing, classifying, 
managing the processes of change, then publicly declaring that nothing is coming for nothing is coming for free. Effort, time, struggle, and other. Are you ready? Are you ready to take the burden of advocating for social justice and protection of the rights of your fellow citizens? Stand up for them. Are you ready? Are you ready to carry the burden of changing the social philosophy of thinking of societies? And then confronting corruption and the corrupt people? Are you ready? The time of despair is up. Halas, finished. Don't talk about sitting and do nothing. Are you ready to reach out for everyone living on the planet Earth? Remember, social media can get you to be in contact with people maybe of 10 or 20,000 miles away from you. Are you ready to reach out for every living individual on the planet Earth? Because human being himself or herself become a society. I'm sitting at home with this telephone and I think that I became a society by myself as individual. So instead of you reaching to the hundreds of thousands down of populist societies, you will be reaching out for billions of individual citizens, each one of them considered to be a society by himself or herself. Are you ready? Are you ready to take this task? realize how heavy and difficult and complicated such task are you ready to meet the pace of societal development the societal development is happening by the second by the minute by the hour by the day by the week are you ready to meet the pace of societal development then being able to make the expected social changes needed by such society, to keep the pace, then to make actually the expected social changes needed by societies. It's not somebody sitting down and become yeah, an uh, armchair warrior or uh, talking, yeah, any complaining. And, uh, yeah, no, 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 no. Are you ready to race against time? There's against time. Time is running very fast. Wrestle against social, cultural, philosophy of thinking. Wrestling. And struggle to change the social climate of your societies with your soul, mind, spirit, and consciousness, as I mentioned before. Are you ready to do that? This is the challenge. This is the challenge of 2021. This is the challenge of 2021. Whether we are living inside COVID-20 or COVID-19 or COVID-21, does not make any difference. Are you ready? Are you ready to live without provision? Travel without riding vehicles or animals? Being guided without mentoring guide? Are you ready? To be alone or to be with some people? With no, with no resources and to go through this, are you ready to be the first to give, to grant, to be patient, to be persistent, to be alarmed and alarming others, and to be the first of those who protect humanity in your society? Are you ready or not? Challenges 2021 for us is, is a year of accomplishment, a year of success, inshallah, and the year of challenging the status quo and making the change, the positive change for people on the planet Earth. Are you ready to do what skies? Mountains and the earth refuse to do. In the Arabic, Amat, Al-Samawat, Al-Ard, Al-Jibal, Abayn, An-Yahmanah, Ashfaqna, Mina, 
Hamran and said, "Not going to remove Jordan." We have Allah has informed the mountains, the skies, uh, uh, the earth to carry the responsibility, and they refuse, and they decrease the responsibility. Who got it out of ignorance is people like myself, the insan. Are you ready to carry this burden, in spite of the fact? Skies, mountains, and earth refuse to take it. Today, my young brothers and sisters, the real challenge will face us in this part of the lecture. Is the citizen is the citizen citizens character building? How can we build the character of every citizen around us? That will enable such citizen to bring joy and happiness to people as well as other creations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm always talking, or we should be always talking about other creation created by Allah to serve us. The real challenge will face us today in this part of the lecture is the citizen, citizens' character building that will enable such citizens to bring joy and happiness to people as well as other creations of Allah. If you are the right people to stand up for these challenges, and I believe you are, I strongly believe you are, I strongly believe you are, please lead me or lead us, and we will be your fellow, your fellow supporters and followers. We don't want to lead you want you to lead us, we'll follow you, we'll follow you. So you and us, you know what you and us like what? You and us are like the ever shining suns, not only one sun, sun. If you have this more, you and us will be like the ever shining suns if you if you have these moral values and we will follow you will follow you will follow you piety humility flexibility reconciling with oneself also building the experience and will help you in that building the knowledge and will help you in that building the wisdom and will help you in that and will be following the society deeply inside the path, searching beneath the hidden hearts of people's history and culture. If you do that, we are with you 100%, and we will never let you to do it alone. We'll follow your flow. You create the flow, and we'll follow your flow. Because you will become the dynamic and the energizing fuel for all progressive social justice movement. You will become, don't underestimate what Allah gives you. Don't underestimate that. You will become the dynamic and the energizing fuel for all progressive social justice movements. So let us take the second step, because last week we took the first step identify the land and build the house and the site. Let us, let us take the second, third, fourth, and even more steps towards building, actually, again, the society that Allah would love to see us building for his pleasure. I thank you very much for being very patient. I nearly talk about 50 minutes your time and next week we'll do the third part of this lecture which we we'll talk about uh, I forgot uh, talk about what things we should take for granted what is the benefit what what did you benefit from COVID 20 what things you used to take for granted then what new society will look like and what are the pyramids of uh, 
awareness, societal awareness. I'll be contacting you next week, inshallah. Next Friday, inshallah. Thank you very much, inshallah. God bless you, wherever you are, whenever you are, as friends, colleagues, uh, Muslims, non Muslims, anywhere, actually. We have to stand together to help one another and to help everybody else. God bless you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.